how are you? So I've actually spread the cards out and oh, I already have such good feelings about this reading. It also makes me a little sad as well, but oh, it's okay. So we're going to start with an essential oil, chamomile, German chamomile. Um, I'm a kinesiologist, so that's usually how I start my sessions because it just helps us tap into the emotional component of where we're at or what needs to come forward. So um, chamomile is talking about bringing in some sort of release, so creating a safe space to do that. And I felt the need to get an emotion with this one and it came up with shyness. So, um, and then you've got the dolphin energy. <laughs> So the, the top row here is kind of the focus or where the energy needs to um, shift or, 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 or just some sort of information to, to give you some clarity. Um, and then the bottom row is kind of talking about what you can kind of do about that. So the remedy. <clears throat> and we have the dolphin energy here and it's, it's kind of in the stress position. Um, and dolphins, I don't know any human in the world that doesn't love a dolphin, right? They're just, they're so majestic. We just don't fully understand how powerful they are. They're just, I don't know, they just have such a healing power that we don't know what it is, but we, we can't deny it, right? And because this is sitting in the top row for you, it's coming up as it's that you do not understand your full potential or the power that you have within. It's like, it's like you are this healing light. You may even want to or currently working in some sort of healing arts, um, some sort of maybe spiritual work or want to be in some sort of spiritual work or health or caretaker or in nursing you know any role that provides that kind of care for others um, but I feel like you're not doing that or to your full potential right now because this is in a sort of stress position and what this card is trying to get your attention of today is for you to understand your full potential and that what's holding you back is some sort of belief system. We'll come to that in a second. So Aries, you are, you have so much potential. So, and I get the shyness, you know, I have shyness myself. So I understand how paralyzing that can be, um, especially when you want to, you want to share your love to the world and you, you do love the world, but this holds you back a little bit. And what I've learned about myself, discovering quite late that I was an empath, I actually thought it was all my own stuff. So I was, you know, I, I used to have very strong emotions in this way and I used to just kind of protect myself. And I probably still do to a certain degree um, because you have to manage other people's energies, right? So um, potentially you are an empath too. Um, but that is going to be a strength it's just about harnessing that energy and finding your way around that that gift that you have um, because if you are attracted to working in some sort of healing arena um, you, you have to learn to, to manage that power um, so it, it, it's natural for us to be a little bit afraid of it in the beginning especially when we don't fully understand it um, and so this card here surrender um, it's probably the advice that you will be needing, but the reason it's in the stressed um, position is to highlight to you that your thought patterns are getting in the way. Um, and you're, you almost just need to unclench uh, your grip on what's holding you back. Because um, you are limiting your beliefs about yourself. So, it's asking you to just be mindful of that because 
there's just so much beautiful stuff coming your way um, when you do that. So yeah, new lens and belief system cards came up. Uh, these are like my little trigger cards. So yeah, how can you see yourself through a new lens? Because you're going to have to clear that belief system. And maybe the belief system is not being able to harness your emotions, therefore you feel you're emotional. But it's like I said before, what if it's not all your stuff and you're not aware of that? Maybe you're an empath and you are picking up a lot of energy from a lot of people. And maybe you're suffering from anxiety, for example, and, and now that label's attached itself. So there might be something in there. Just maybe just Google empaths or just build some knowledge around it. Because there's definitely some sort of healing work that um, you need to do to, to bring this light to the world because the world really needs this light right now. And these cards are making a very strong call in your direction to, to bring this in to disregard this old self-limiting belief but because this is this is not your journey and this is not your path look at this card here it is about making that choice because right now you're, you're kind of stuck on this bridge um, and yes it's leading to a choice to be made but this card is saying that there is no wrong choice that both options are great whichever it is that you decide but the key to the message is make the choice because right now you're on this very narrow limiting path and although you're although you are heading in the right direction the speed in which this um, journey goes is going to be about you bringing in this new lens killing this belief system and making small steps to find the path that's right for you you'll definitely be called and this card is asking you to kind of make that decision as soon as possible because you're either ready or you need a big nudge this is exciting um, okay so now we're going to come down to the cards that um, are showing you um, the strengths or, or the remedies around this because you've got the Queen of Cups and she's no longer guarding her emotions there you know she's she's kind of smiling and offering all of her knowledge and her her all of her emotional journey to others um, but she's still very grounded now so even though she's probably seen some yeah, seen some trauma in her day, she understands that that is also a gift and that that's what she can share to the world. And she's owning it now, you know. She's still aware of her boundaries, like she knows what she can, you know, get away with. Um, but she's got that lid on her cup, you know. But it's still a gift to the world, but she gets to say when, who, where, how, and for how long so this is the message for you this is your medicine your medicine is that your journey up until now could have been you know turbulent emotionally or you know been having to harness your own emotions or the emotions around you but this is your medicine is to know that to be vulnerable in front of others is to almost hold a mirror up to them so that they can feel vulnerable back to you so we are all sharing the same emotional codes you know like we are all having our bad days and to have someone in front of us with that sort of sensitivity and vulnerability allows us to have that sensitivity and vulnerability or to be open to it or to find the safe space to release it and you could be that safe space for people to release that if you were working in the healing industry so <clears throat> a social goal and I get I, I get the sense that this is connected here right so when we're shy 
and we're feeling all these emotions and this unworthiness and our limiting beliefs and you know all of these things we could probably tend to avoid all social gatherings or you know or if we do we kind of do it we go there reluctantly um but this is your small goal this is just a goal that you could do a baby step in um and just decide to to take your cup you don't have to lift the lid off it right now you just just take your cup and know that whatever history or journey you've been on up until now is definitely all yours and you get to decide whether you want to translate that into a gift um, that the rest of the world can benefit from so a social goal really is just more of a the the tangible human experience of where can I feel safe enough or to create a social space for me to not hide behind my shyness but to just kind of allow it to come in because <clears throat> people need to see vulnerability right now everyone's you know been developing hard edges so you know <clears throat> light workers are here for a reason right now right we're, we're here to bring light to the world and so be open to spiritual guidance <clears throat> This has actually got a lesson here, so maybe we'll have a look at it. <clears throat> um, you're not alone here. Um, and you, you may already be tapping into your spirit guides or, or the universe or whatever it is that you, your, your faith is or um, you, your divine connection or, or however it is that you operate in that space, meditation, uh, yoga even, uh, music actually. It's another nice um, way of connecting. Um, is to ask for guidance, really, on what the next step is and how to get off this bridge. So let's see what today's lesson is, is that it says. Ooh, the crystal drops. I'm going to bring it out. Um, ponder this question. How do you expect your prayers and guidance to come to you? Literally, in a vision, are you someone who says that you're waiting for prayers to be answered because you want guidance that includes a safety net? Your goal, to own up to your spiritual insecurities and lack of faith. Yeah, so that card is basically saying, come out of this energy where you feel you need to stay protected and small that you need the safety net, like this belief system of, you know, it's very limiting yourself to your journey and then the tough question would be is acknowledging that you do have some insecurities and you might have a lack of faith in yourself but how do you how do you take the charge out of that and use it for your own good or for the for the good for for others how do you Rescript that so instead of saying you're shy and that you're not good enough and you have no potential could having those feelings of feeling shy and no potential reach others but people identify with that very same script so the facts are still the same it's just how you perceive them right it's either a gift that holds you back or a gift that helps you help others propel forward and yourself because that's really essentially you know what we can bring to the world is usually our mission is um, what we've been tr trying to fix the most in ourselves is, is what we can offer uh, the world in some way and then you have field of dreams so this is talking to me in the sense of how to get connected and to how to take the charge energy out of this it's like where to start and nature is I cannot tell you especially for empaths I cannot tell you the healing that it has and the potential to completely shift energy and to put you in the highest vibration um, possible um, and to clear some of that limiting beliefs there's so much answers in nature 
And so if you are feeling shy, anxious, insecure, lacking faith, all of those low vibrational emotions, the biggest key or clue is to get grounded as soon as possible. And sometimes it's hard <laughs> when you're in that space to even think of such an obvious thing. But just the healing color of green and look at the crystal that actually dropped out. So that's like another message. Um, and now I'm seeing my green nails. <laughs> okay, so we're going with the green buzz. Oh, green, green everywhere. Um, surprise, I missed that. So yeah, um, get grounded, get calm, because that's when this guidance comes to you the most. This is when you get all your great ideas and, and your, your, your strengths are highlighted to you. And so this, um, I was wondering what this car was going to mean eventually, but I, I didn't know until I knew I'd start to, you know, unravel the message. But it is, it's going to have a sedating effect. And not in a bad way, not in a numbing way, but in a way that takes this charge out. Because we can totally be paralyzed by our shyness. Um, and it definitely blocks a lot of this stuff, social interactions. Um... And it makes us very anxious and, you know, so this very strong message to, wow, to just own your own light. Because, like, whoever this reading is for, they've got a ton of potential and the world definitely needs it. So if that's you, go do it. Do it now. Yeah, so I hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching.